Hello everybody and welcome to another fun unboxing. It is that time of year where Christmas things are out and I am here for it. This is my first Christmas themed order. I don't know how many I'm doing this year, but I was very excited when I saw Paula's Christmas release. Um, Paula is the beautiful lady behind Pen Palling Paula on Instagram, and she has been killing it the last couple Christmases with her releases. So without further ado, let's go ahead and pull everything out. I love the fact that she like swatches the washi on the outside and this little sticker. You know I'm saving it because it's on washi so it peels up. Totally saving that. Um, but let's get into it. The, I accidentally cut the side of it when I was cutting the side of the mailer, so that's kind of a bummer, but whatever. <laughs> um, so these two, maybe this one, I think these are three of her releases for this year. I know this is one that she had last year, and I absolutely loved it, and when I saw that she still had it, I had to get another one. I think I got it last year, but I'm not 100%. Um, so as a precaution, I just went ahead and grabbed it. It's her Letters to Santa one. And then this is the three new ones. I think, like I said, I think this one's new because it's green. I think she did gray last year, but we have Christmas postmarks, which you guys know is my absolute favorite, and then the green plaid. So let's just go ahead and open these up. Okay, like I said, this is her um, Christmas washi from last year, and I absolutely loved it. So, and it doesn't repeat for like a while. <laughs> Like it goes all the way through here. Let me get it to focus closer. There we go. So we've got typewriters, presents, mail, ink, a sleigh, a postmark, presents, cookies, a mitt, a stamp, more wooden stamps, a pink typewriter, cocoa, let it snow, mail, a post box, a package, another sleigh, some more cocoa, a stamp, cookies, a package, and a red typewriter. I mean, what? <laughs> There's so many images there and they all work together so well. Let's do her green plaid, which I think is new. I wish I knew for sure, but I think this is her new one. It's a really pretty green. It's coming off gray on screen, but I promise it's like a really pretty sage color. Then this one is her new one from this year, which I think is supposed to mimic the pink one that she did last year, this one. So let's see, we're gonna start with a bell. Again, super long, so many images. So we've got a bell, a snow globe, candy cane, cookie, a, um, that green thing that I can't think of, Santa, a gingerbread package, snow hat, or a Santa hat, cocoa, and on and on and on. I'm not gonna list them out, but I mean, how pretty are these images? And they're so delicate. And the color story is just a little bit different than the one that she did last year. So they complement each other really, really well. And I really like that one. But this one is my all-time favorite. I died when I saw that she had this postmark collection. Let's see. We're going to circle in a reindeer. So there's not quite as many images on this one but it really doesn't matter because they're just so good this postmark one is my absolute favorite i love anything with postmarks but you put some postmarks for christmas in my face and i freak so there are all the washies let's get it to focus back down onto the table and get into the bulk here as always, it's wrapped beautifully, but I want to get into it. So we've got this really pretty winter freebie, which is so cute. And um, I would love to live in a world where this is what my winter reality looked like, but it isn't. So this is going to be great to use for Happy Mail and then the perfect size for postcards. Here is her little sweet note. I love this. And then this is her freebie postcard, which is also super cute. And here are the stickers and postcards, but let's talk about this letter writing pad. So, oh 
man, I love this. I love the whimsical watercolor look. And then we've got that postmark up top. Bring it in a little closer so you guys can see. Look how pretty this is. And it's lined, which I love because I can't write a straight line to save my life. So writing letters is tricky for me sometimes. And then we have got... So we've got two of her stickers. I don't know if these are vinyl or not, but they feel very nice. Like they're like a matte feeling, like satiny almost. And they're super thin, which I love. I don't like thick, bulky stickers. So I love the watercolor look of these. And then we've got some sticker sheets. So we've got the Christmas postmarks, which I love. I kind of regret only getting one sheet of these, but we will we'll settle that in another way. <laughs> I do have the washi tape, but here is the Christmas Essentials, which again is this really lovely whimsical watercolor look. I love the look of those, and these are the perfect size for postcards. Then we've got these Christmas quotes and this beautiful hand lettering, which is really fun. And we've got some Christmas trees and the little baubles and some prezzies and bells. Love those. This is the same tree that it's on the letter pad, I think. And then I got, I went crazy and I got two more sheets of the letters to Santa because I really loved this collection last year. I love it this year too, but this one just really vibed with me. So I went ahead and grabbed two more of those. <laughs> Excuse me. I was surprised to see that she even had any more of this line because I know it was really popular last year. Um, went ahead and got Sweet Christmas as well because I love the colors of this collection. It just went so well together. And then I went ahead and got some Christmas Girls because look how beautiful these babes are. <laughs> um, so let's see. Next are postcards. So my love of the postmark post or the postmark collection came through with these postcards. I grabbed five of them one to keep and four to send away. I live pretty close to a town in Florida called Christmas Florida and I'm in love with that little post office so this is going to be great to send Christmas mail from that post office again um, this year. I know last year I donated some new um, decorative stamps to the post office for everyone to use so being able to go back and use those again this year is going to be super fun. We've got a super whimsical Santa Claus. I love him. He's so dreamy. This Merry Christmas one with the pretty hand lettering and the watercolor. I love the watercolor vibe this year. I really, really do. Beautiful fireplace. And then the classic red Christmas truck with a Christmas tree. So that is everything. I went a little bit crazy. Um, but I love what Paula does and she's just the sweetest ever and her stuff does really really well so when I want something I really have to kind of move quick or I am afraid I'll miss it because that's just how her stuff goes so I will leave everything you need to find Paula's information down below she's fantastic the quality is great the only thing I have to say as a disclaimer uh, actually I have two disclaimers um, the first of which is that a few of these items were sent to me for promotion. I think it was these postcards, um, this sticker, these sticker sheets, and then these two stickers. Everything else I purchased with my own money. Well, that's not true. I think the washi, I bought this one, but I think she sent three. I, I'm not really sure. Um, but yeah, just as a disclaimer, she did reach out to me to see if I wanted to promote anything and I said yes, but when the Christmas launch actually launched, I went crazy and purchased a lot of things with my own money um, because I just loved it so much. So the second disclaimer is with the washi tape. This is for my, um, the, the sensitive people that have sensitive noses. Um, who are highly sensitive to smell. The washi tape did have a smell when I opened it. When I took the plastic off, I could smell it immediately. It smells like a, like a plasticky, um, not burnt plastic, but there's just like this pretty strong plastic smell. It went away 
Um, like I can't really smell it now that the video is almost over. It's been about 10 minutes since I've opened it, but I do wanted to, I did want to put that disclaimer out there because I want to be as open and honest with you guys as possible that that is a reality. I know I have some very sensitive um, followers in that, that their noses are very sensitive, so I want them to be very aware of the washi tape. So if you purchase, which I highly suggest you do because these are great, the quality is great, none of them are rolling up like you have seen cheaper washi tapes do. I mean, I know I'm pressing on it, but if this were a cheap like Alley or Wish washi tape, they would already be rolling up. They're super sticky. It's a really high quality. The images are super crisp, um, but there is that smell. So if you want to get this, just have a loved one or a friend, take them out of the package and sort of do what I've done here to sort of let that smell sort of wander away. Um, and then you can go along with using them because I don't smell it anymore, but I did. So that's all I have to say. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down below and I will catch you guys later. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Bye.